Hello and welcome to another whiskey review with me, the whiskey novice. If you're all keeping well, you're all sitting comfortably, then I shall begin. Good, right, let's go. It's review number 72 and part one of another new series. This time one I'm calling Irish Oddballs. Now, no offence meant to anybody there. What is an oddball? Well, an oddball, in my opinion, is something or someone a little out of the ordinary. Something that's just not the run of the mill. And this is going to be a, a, a four-part series. And they're whiskies that just aren't, in my opinion, run of the mill. Two of them, this one included, are readily available. Buy them anywhere, pretty much. Uh, and two of them aren't. That'll explain itself as the series continues. I hope. <laughs> I hope. So we're starting uh, in the Middleton Distillery down there in Cork with the Jameson Black Barrel. Now, what makes this one a little out of the ordinary? Well, let me explain, shall we? It's bottled at 40%. There's colour added. There's this chill filter. This is a blend. This is a blended Irish whiskey. Okay? It's... Uh, Triple distilled, blended Irish whiskey. So to all intents and purposes, this is an entry level Irish whiskey, but it's not. This one's a little bit out of the ordinary. Why is it a little bit out of the ordinary? Well, you're looking at predominantly more single pot still rather than single malt in this blend. So you're looking at, at a predominant single pot still and grain. The grain is... Uh, around the green whiskey, the green element of it's around five years old. There's a the, the casks, they're ex bourbon casks, and they're charred twice, so they're refreshed by being recharred, hence the black barrel part of things. But you're looking at a predominantly a roughly 10 year old single pot still element of this, and it's it that goes into these and has matured in these double charred casks before being blended, which brings uh, an incredible amount of flavor for me anyway. I, I This has been around a while. I only actually discovered it, said I discovered it. I'm sure there's enough a lot of you out there the same as myself, where somebody says, you gotta try this. Have you tried this yet? Have you tried this yet? And, and I just, this was one of those ones. Have you tried it yet? And I just never got round to it, and I'm and I'm sorry I didn't, and now I have, and I'm glad I have. Let's explain why. To so say 40% blended whiskey. Here we go on the nose. So rich, creamy and fruity. It, it delivers so much for a 40% blended whiskey. There's talent in the blend here. It noses like a, a good single pot still whiskey. And I like good single pot still whiskey. And personally speaking, there are those that will argue with me, but I still think in the island of the island of Ireland, Middleton do it best. There are hints, even though I don't think there's any element of sherry in this. There are hints of a, an element of a sherried whiskey in that what we know of an Irish sherried, sherry cast mature or sherry cast finish. The raisins, the dried peel, the fruit cake, the, the butteriness. It's also, there's also caramel going on here so there's your bourbon there's your char but it's a real thick chewy fudgy caramel it's sweet but it's not overly sweet I'm back out back out a little something I find with an awful lot of Irish whiskies there's a slight mustiness off it no bad thing works well in it and let it settle a while and you start to get mixed nuts, uh, almonds, cashews, all that sort of thing, as in a bag of mixed nuts. Really, really good nose for something 
at the bottom of 40%. Mm. So, so creamy. Sweet delivery. Really, really well coating. The development just builds and builds and builds. More of that sweet fudge, more of that caramel. There's a light bitter tang of like raisins and sultanas. Very light. Really, really good at 40%. And, and, and an awful lot or pretty much everything that that nose offered up carries through the palate. Yeah, then um, you imagine a lot of that mixed nuts and even slight bitter tang. This is a direct result of the rechar, those rechar barrels. Certainly that's the impression I'm getting. There, there is a hint of that char in there, and it, and it's and it's lending itself to the to the nuts and the and the the, the raisins. Finish is relatively short, but it just fades so nicely. Loads and loads of that tanginess still hanging around. But that's sort of all, you know, that's sort of all, but it's no bad thing. It's just, it just fades away gently. And what it does is it just leaves you craving more. Sometimes it pays to listen when somebody recommends it. <laughs> and I'm not saying that that was me. Uh, a couple of friends of mine in the whiskey community recommended this highly to me. Price-wise, it was sort of the price that, that it didn't put me off it, but yet again, I fell into a rut that I think a lot of us fall into, where you see blended Irish whiskey, you see blended whiskey, you see 40%, you think this is just another blend, and the usual price you're looking for is around the 35 to 40 pounds mark. Now, I bought this at £25 and it still, every now and again, comes around at £25. At £25, you'll not beat it. You will not beat it. It's one of the best whiskies on the market for that money, all day long. £35 to £40, this is what, what was pushing me a little. I just didn't want to, I felt like as if it was just a little much for a blend at 40%, although it's still even at that, still really, really good. Really good. Black current. Starting to get hints of black current now, just on the, the tail of that finish. Water brings, and it's one that I've used a bit recently, actually, and yet again, I'm finding it here, a hint of juicy fruit chewing gum. And that was just a tiny, tiny drop of water. It, it brings up fruits, it brings up more citrus, orange, even lemon and lime. Becomes slightly sweeter, slightly, uh, becomes slightly more alive with just that, that was a dash of water, very, very little. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So long and creamy, so palatable. So, just so, so easy to drink. <laughs> this is a quality whiskey. If, if, you, if you see this at that price, buy it. As a matter of fact, buy four of them and keep them. You will never tire of this. I will never tire of this. It's just good quality blended Irish whiskey.
finish remains good finish it, it caught and soft it's just oh yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. highly highly recommended that's what it is the, the whoever is behind the blending team in this is to be applauded i probably could have found that out very easily but yeah. uh so if we like this then this if you've had this and you like this and you want an alternative i'm going to recommend this for all i have left of it this needs to be renewed obviously as does this uh blackbush it's it's still a good one for i've i've maybe over the over the past or through the past not been as glowing about it as as some would recommend my like a lot of other people like a lot of like most of us my views change on these things too the longer i've spent with black bush over the years the better it has got yet again another blend another 40 percent another irish but the sherry is actually here the the where you can get senses of sherry in this like as if there has been some sort of sherry influence that sherry influence is actually in black bush and it makes it play quite well roughly around the same price actually but you'll you'll tend to see certainly here in ireland tend to see this drop to the, that those lower prices more often and uh and it's one that if you've had jameson black barrel never had black bush give this a go as a good alternative to, to try and even to try against each other so yeah like black barrel try black bush there you go that's pretty much an introduction to this series irish oddballs said a very very good start i'm gonna sort of work this the, re the, the order in which the the, the whiskies have come through in this series are i'm just working them on abv and the and the rate they go up so this is the lowest abv in this series but I'm going to say right off the bat, one of the best in this series. It really, really is. I can't, can't commend Jameson enough for it. So, give it a go. Highly recommend it. There you are. Start of a new series. I'll be back uh, next week with the continuation of this series. Until then, thank you very much for the support. Thank you very, very much for joining me. Thank you to my patrons. If you wish to join that group, the link is down in the description below. Here's to your good health, my friends. Cheers. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Please click and subscribe to be notified of further content.